This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Sloths! Whose idea was it to name one of the seven deadly sins after these adorable bastards? They're literally the most innocent creatures on the face of the earth. Ask any scientist. In recent years, sloths have taken the throne as the internet's favorite animal. But outside of the memes, baby pictures, and those weird anti-pot commercials from Australia, just google it, sloths are really fascinating animals. So without further ado, here are five things you might not know about sloths. Number one, they're slow. Okay, you probably already knew that, but did you know why they're so slow? Me neither, I had to look it up. As it turns out, the answer is pretty simple. Sloths move slowly as a way to conserve energy. Since sloths only eat leaves, they don't consume fats and proteins, which are important sources of energy and nutrition. They also have very little muscle mass and a slow metabolism, which means it takes much more energy for them to move around and do normal animal stuff. Their metabolism is so slow, in fact, that it can take food up to a month to digest in their multi-chambered stomach, and they only descend from the treetops to take a sloth dump once a week. Efficiency. Number two, heavy sleepers. Although not as heavy as we once thought. A study in 1983 found that sloths sleep on average about 16 hours a day, but that study was restricted to sloths in captivity. A newer study in 2008 found that sloths in the wild sleep significantly less, usually only 9 to 10 hours. This is likely because captive sloths don't need to worry about spending time to go out and look for food since it's provided for them. Number three, they're diverse. Most people know that there are two different types of sloths, the two-toed sloth and the three-toed sloth, but they're much more distantly related than you might think. In fact, they belong to two completely separate families, and there's only one living genus in each family. The genus Coleopis contains two species, Hoffman's two-toed sloth and Linnaeus's two-toed sloth. The genus Bradypus contains four species, the pale-throated three-toed sloth, the brown-throated three-toed sloth, the maned three-toed sloth, and the pygmy three-toed sloth. Number four, prehistoric sloths. I can't go through this list without mentioning some of the absolutely incredible extinct species of sloth. This goes right back to how diverse they are. Up until only about 10,000 years ago, ground-dwelling sloths the size of elephants roamed South America as well as much of North America. And up until roughly 3 million years ago, the coast of Peru and Chile was home to an aquatic species of sloth that grazed on seaweed and seagrass. There's still a hint of this in modern sloths, who are surprisingly amazing swimmers. Number five, a living, breathing ecosystem. This is my favorite thing about sloths. Since they move so slowly, other organisms are able to make a home within the sloth's fur. I want to live in a sloth. Moths, beetles, cockroaches, fungi, and algae can all be found living on sloths, who will also scrape the algae off their bodies as a little snack. There's even a species of moth that depends on the sloth for its entire life cycle. Mama and Papa Moth live inside the sloth's fur, and when their sloth friend descends to the forest to do its business, Mama Moth lays its eggs inside of the sloth's dung. The eggs then hatch, feed on the dung, and then metamorphose into adult moths, at which point they'll fly off into the sunset to find a sloth friend of their very own. The best part about this is that the sloth probably has zero idea that moths are having sex on its back. Thanks for watching! Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video, and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. My social media crap is right here. One more quick announcement before I go. This one's for all you graphic designers out there. I want you guys to design me a new logo for 5 Weird Animal Facts. Something simple but unique and just kind of captures the feel of the show. I know how talented you guys are, so go ahead and email me your submissions to jasonmillervlogs at gmail.com. And when I pick a winner, the artist is going to get a shout out on here, on my vlog channel, and also on my Instagram and Twitter. So there's that, and until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more 5 Weird Animal Facts, go ahead and click this annotation right here. It'll take you to the playlist. And if you want to see more animal-related content, go ahead and click this annotation right here. We got 5 Weird Animal Facts every Monday, Snake Bites TV every Wednesday, and more awesome content coming in the near future. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.